Hello and welcome back to Warsword Conquest. We're going to be fighting another Empire vassal here, but here's the thing. We're actually going to be facing a, a faction elimination relatively soon. I feel like this is... Is this the first one? Is this the first faction elimination that we've ever seen? Because from what I can remember, I don't think any factions have been completely destroyed yet. So Britannia could be the first one unless I just haven't noticed, because it could be that... Um, not sure if the Kingdom of Araby has been destroyed or anything. I don't think so. But I seem to recall something about them happening. I don't know whether I remember that appropriately enough or not. But, um, yeah. Well, obviously at the moment... Oh, can you just leave me alone, sir? Thank you. I Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm just... I'm getting such amazing, amazing things happening to me right here. I really literally just want to be left alone most of the time. I would just prefer to inflict damage to their mounts and um, yeah hopefully that be the end of it basically that would be nice because then my forces can just murder them as and when we like but as you can see they are actually doing oh yeah there's my chaos chariot here yeah, we like him there we go take that one out as well all right yeah so we should be absolutely fine we're going to lose a couple of troops here but obviously nothing too dramatic hopefully we won't actually lose the chaos charioteer himself because that would be very bad indeed. Oh, that was a warrior priest. That gave me a lot of experience right there. Enough to push me over to level 36. Very nice. And, uh, oh yeah, I've actually just spotted Balthazar as well, by the way. So, for those of you that know anything about the lore in, um, you know, in Empire territory and so on and so forth. Basically, it's all about Balthazar being the most powerful guy ever. And that's all I know about it. <laughs> that is literally all I know about it. And, um, well, basically you want to stay away from him as much as you possibly can. And I am, uh, I'm definitely trying to do that because I'm going to assume that he is just as powerful in this as he was in the old realms, which is obviously the Battle Lord Warhammer mod. And I, yeah, I would prefer not to get embroiled into any kind of situation with him. So hopefully I can do that. There we go. Nice victory for us right there. Basically lost pretty much no one. And there we go, we got 10 renown, 22 morale. I actually needed morale really, really badly. And that's the reason why I was desperately searching for someone to fight, basically. I was just literally searching for anyone to fight, to be honest. Oh yeah, by the way, Britannia is now starting to desert their faction. I'm actually not entirely sure where they're going to go. But as far as I'm aware, they are starting to just leave it. I, they don't say where those vassals are going. So it could very well be that they are just literally leaving the entire world. I don't actually know. So there's, you know, there's not enough information for me to actually know one way or another. However, I'm going to be leveling up. Actually, you know what? Do I even want to level up his agility? I don't think it's actually worth it. I'll level up his iron flesh a little bit more. And then we'll just level these guys up. I need to level up as well, of course. Poison Wind Globe Deers. Nice level up right there. Very good. All right. So we have leveled up to level 36. So we're going to get another point in charisma here and another point in leadership, of course, because that's going to, well, that's going to help our our morale problems, any potential morale, morale problems that we actually have, because we do have quite a few of them, don't we? Yes. Anyway, hopefully we'll be able to get a sally out here. I'm really, really hoping for a sally out. No, they are not. Okay. 39 renown. Wow. Okay. That's... That's harsh. I might have to just retreat from this straight away, actually. I am not thinking that we're going to do very well here. I think this is probably going to be a huge bloodbath kind of situation. What's actually happening here? Can I... um? Oh, I, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> where do I, uh, where do I actually go? Okay, yeah, that's. Uh, I guess that's the um, <laughs> that's the downside of actually making it so that your forces are not walking to where the enemy is. I'm going to assume that I have to go here somewhere, or maybe across here. This is. Where, 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 where do I have to go? Actually, I. I can't tell. All right. Cavalry, show me where to go. They're saying to go in there. I already went in there, though. 
What? Oh, you could just walk over that? Oh. Okay. I had no idea. Okay, cavalry, run, 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 run away, run away, run away. I don't want you to get killed, people. Just run away, run away. Thank you. All right, so, yeah, apparently you can just walk over this. I had no idea that that was the case. I thought this was a literal barrier. Okay, well, that's good to know. <laughs> oh, that's actually very good to know. Okay, so I should, theoretically, as long as I don't get shot, there's obviously there's a huge amount of enemies willing to kill me here. Oh, no, I'm just gonna... Are you serious that I literally just took so much damage right there? Okay, just kill that guy at least. Kill him too. A magical shield protects you from damage. Yes, as it should. Thank you very much. Okay, now I'm just going to try and do as much damage as I can here. I'm going to be taking a healing potion, I think. Not a big fan of doing that so early, to be honest. But the enemy is proving that... Oh, they are... Oh, yeah, I really, I really do not like fighting against people that can knock me down. I think that that is extremely irritating. I'm not going to take another healing potion here, by the way, so I will probably just get myself killed. Um, I'm going to get shot from somewhere. I mean, look, look, look at this. Look at how many archers are actually shooting me right now. You know what? I'm just going to get out of here, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just going to get out of here. Actually, you know what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe I can actually make this work. If I don't die on my way out here, we might be able to actually do something pretty cool. Okay, let's just cross our fingers and hope that I don't get shot randomly. Because, you know, you never know whether that's going to happen or not. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. And can I actually make my way back over here? Okay, where is Oggy Boggy? Where are you, sir? I can't see him. Let's tell them to stand closer a little bit here. I can't see him for some reason. Where is he? There he is. Okay, I found him. I found him. All right, this is absolutely perfect. Okay, yeah, so he's already healed me, as you can see right here. So this is actually really nice. Unfortunately, I've only eliminated 36 of the enemy's forces. And there you go. We've now, we're have now we now back up to full HP. So this is basically the entire reason why I came out here, because I wanted to just literally go over to where Oggy Boggy was so that he could heal me. And that's it. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Okay, I don't know whether I'm actually going to be able to do something here because, as I said, enemy troops in this... Oh, wait, wait, wait. But wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Can I actually go over there? I don't think so. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Can I? I think I might be able to if I go on to the ship... Okay, wait a minute. This might be a perfect... Ah, oh, if this could work. If this works, this is going to be fantastic. If it doesn't, then, well, I'm going to be sad. Oh, no. It seems like I'm unable to. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not going in there. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, so we lost the healing potion, but we did... I mean, look at that. They've only got 338. Technically, that is a pretty easy victory to have for pretty much anyone. Unfortunately, it just has a super, super good layout. The The layout is, is wonderful for the defense. And uh, I'm not really... Uh, I'm not really wanting to sustain huge casualties to be able to make that work. It would be really, really easy for us to take it if I wanted to just throw every single person in there. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is a much nicer... Uh, this is a much nicer setup. As you can see, there are some extremely nice ways for our forces to deal damage from range. And hopefully I'm also going to be able to get up there myself and hopefully do some damage behind enemy lines. Now, the main problem is going to get shot. Yeah, is me getting shot. That's, that's basically what's going to happen here. Um, if I can avoid getting shot, then we'll be absolutely fine. And as you can see, we're actually killing... Look at this, we're getting a load of kills. We're getting a load of kills right now, which is fantastic. I'm hopeful we'll be able to get more. These guys right here, the wolf wolf guys and the uh, toy, Toytagen, Toytagen uh, guards, those guys, they're annoying. They are extremely annoying. Basically, I think maybe actually one of my most hated units already 
which is really surprising because usually I would not be too uh, too bothered by it, but they are very, very irritating because they have the ability to knock you down. And when you get knocked down, you basically can't get up again unless, they, unless they're unless they going to knock me down, which I, I then will get up again. Do you, do you, do you get the reference? Hopefully, hopefully you do. Anyway, the point is... <laughs> <laughs> it makes it very difficult for you to defend yourself. That's basically what I'm getting at here. Okay, I'm going to see what I can do. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do anything here because I... That's the thing. I kind of want to take a healing potion, but I also kind of don't. So I'm basically just fighting by a thread at this moment in time. And I'm thinking, hey, you know what? Maybe this is okay. Oh, <laughs> all right, got shot from over there. Right, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. We got 13 morale. As you can see, we basically lost no one and we killed 76. That's actually significant. Okay, we can actually take this. We can actually take this with, with very minimal effort, which I got to say, I'm actually very much enjoying because let's face it, we really do not want to put ourselves in a situation where we're literally just going to have massive casualties every single time. Because, you know, in a strategic sense, the best way of having a great strategy or a great tactic is to literally make it so that you have the least, um, shall we say, the least drawbacks to any potential action. And, as you can see, Kingdom of Britannia has now been eliminated. So that's absolutely fantastic. We no longer have to bother with those damsels and... Oh, thank goodness. That's all I can say. Because those damsels were starting to, you know, really grind my gears quite significantly. Oh, look at that. They're actually... Oh, okay. They are sallying out now. Okay, this is absolutely perfect. This is wonderful. I'm going to tell everyone to charge, actually. I'm going to tell everyone to charge. I don't want to tell my cavalry to charge, but I will have to, I think. Um... Yeah, I will have to. Yeah, so these wolf units, they're the main problem in my opinion. They're the ones that are actually providing me with the most difficulty. Which is quite funny considering I never would have expected that in a million years. Because they look a little bit ridiculous, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not an empire person, you know? Maybe I just don't really appreciate the empire's aesthetic. Maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But I'm hopeful that my forces will be able to... Don't, don't get killed now. Don't get killed now. Come on, Slythe. Come on. Don't die from these random peasants. There we go. Thank you very much. Okay, very nice. Are we winning? Yes. <laughs> are you winning, Rat? Are you winning, Rat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are. Indeed, indeed. There we go. We're not having a terribly bad time of things. Oh, very nice. That was a nice shot. Okay, great. And uh, we should be fine. Please don't get killed. Please don't get killed. If you are part of the Chaos Charioteer, please don't get killed. <laughs> okay, there we go. Fantastic. Look at that. 11 Renown, 37 Morale. Basically took zero casualties. Super, super nice. I'm just going to wait here for a little bit of time because you never... Oh, wait a minute. Ah, that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. That is a bit of an issue. That is a big issue, actually. And what we're going to do is I'm going to be an extremely underhanded individual. Because let's face it, we are Skaven, so we should probably live up to that a little bit every now and again. Don't you think? Yes, I think so. So what we're going to do is... Oh, it's actually not too bad. Okay, I thought the battle advantage was going to be a lot worse than it was. Um, but yeah, it seems... Okay... I'm not sure why my archers are not coming all the way up here. They really should. There we go. We need them to come all the way up here so that we can uh, maximize the distance that they have. Um, okay. Yes. A little bit more, please. A little bit more. Oh, what what are they doing? Why why are they being so why are they being so weird about it? Look at that. They're moving from side to side rather than back. It seems as though they are not able to actually go back any further for some reason. I guess it's because of the angle. Um, <laughs> my Chaos Charioteers are literally running down Erasmus right now, and he's taking zero damage from that. That is so incredibly funny. All right, well, let's just move my cavalry over there. I am wholeheartedly assuming that I'm going to be taking significant casualties from this particular battle. I do have a healing potion, however. 
Seems like they have a Jade Wizard General, which is definitely going to be causing us some problems, but hopefully we're not going to have too many issues. As long as we can eliminate the enemy cavalry. Kill this guy. Oh, wow. That was literally the... <laughs> <laughs> that was the enemy leader right there. That was hilarious. Okay, let's tell my cavalry to charge in here. Kill the Demigriff Knight. Tell my infantry to charge in. Kill this guy. Oh, no. Apparently, we did very little damage to that one. Oh, uh, well, that's fine. Okay, Oggy Boggy, where are you, sir? I really need you to heal me. Where is he? I don't know where he is. He's. It's going to be extremely difficult for me to find him, to be honest. So, I, I guess the the best thing I can do is... Oh, he's over here. Is he even casting? He is. Enemy troops in the radius take damage. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Let's kill this wizard. There we are. Okay, let's uh, let's try and stay alive as best we can here. I'm going to need to, to be able to make this work. Because if we don't... Oh, healing potion. Ha ha. That's what you get, Saz. A healing potion will survive... Well, well, well. Will make me survive, shall we say. <laughs> and actually do something here. Okay. We might have this in the back. Look at this guy! The Chaos Charioteer is literally running around on a demigriff. That is hilarious. Okay. Well, that's nice to see, I guess. Is it? <laughs> is it nice to see that? I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But yeah, we should be absolutely fine. If I can just make sure that I live here, we should be good. Uh, don't get killed. Don't take any additional damage. Kill this guy. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Everything seems to be going very, very well. Unfortunately, there is actually an ogre working for these guys. How dare you? You should be working for me, sir. But there we go. He's dead. And there we have it. Who was that, by the way? What was that? It's an empire ogre. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So it's not even a mercenary. All right. Well, that's interesting. Okay. So we are obviously now receiving additional reinforcements from the enemy... Um, enemy cavalry department. Not a big fan of that. Kill this. Kill that guy. Yes. Get them. Kill them all, please. Yes. Kill them all. And maybe what we can do is we can actually uh, move my forces a little bit closer. Attack enemy cavalry division. I really don't want them to do that, actually. But they're going to do it nevertheless. Annoyingly enough. But maybe it's actually going to be useful. I don't know. Maybe it's actually going to be useful because... Um, they can then, um, you know, attack in melee and things like that. And maybe that's going to be a little bit more useful than them just standing there doing random stuff. I don't know. Is this a Bretonian? That was a Bretonian. A Bretonian Knight of the Realm. Why was there why, why was there a Bretonian there? I have no idea. Oh, well. Never mind. Okay, what is this? Oh, that's the, uh, the Chaos Chariot being eliminated, unfortunately. Had no idea it even had HP, to be honest. Okay, let's just kill this... Get him out the way. I feel like we're actually going to achieve victory here. If we achieve victory, I'm going to be super surprised because I never would have expected that in a million years. But it seems as though we are actually doing pretty fine. Um, thankfully, they've stopped attacking me specifically because I'm just taking, well, I'm just taking zero damage because I'm just dodging absolutely everything most of the time. Or ward saves coming in. Oh yeah, by the way, speaking of ward save, I think I have enough money to be able to buy the next level. Um, so that's going to be nice. Because then I will finally be able to have, I think, um, well, basically a plus three roll, I guess. A plus three roll instead of a plus two roll. Because basically if, if they roll two or one or whatever, then I don't take damage. But if they roll a th uh, three or above, then um, they're obviously going to hit. So, as far as I'm aware, at least. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Anyway, let's just see if we can actually do some damage here. These are warrior priests. Oh, yeah. These guys are annoying. Get them out the way. Thank you. Well, it <laughs> seems like that's it. Look at that. Only 14 enemies remaining. Let's tell my archers to charge in now because they are obviously going to have to get into range. And the enemy does seem to be a little bit, uh, a little bit hesitant to move forward. 
Which, uh, if I was them, I'd probably be in the same same position. Because let's face it, they were entering this battle with a significant advantage. This Doom Bull, I mean, really, would you would you actually want to fight one of these guys? I personally wouldn't. It's like one of those. It's like one of those things where it's like, would you want to face, you know, a hundred a hundred bull that are literally, you know, uh, oh what he got killed, he got killed. Are you serious? You got you you shot you shot this guy. Oh wow, that's not very nice of you. Okay, I'm not a big fan of that. Thank you very much. Okay, well thankfully my forces are now starting to catch up, so they're actually assisting me a little bit here. Ward saves coming in as well, and. There we go. Wow, these guys are running into this this rock. Well, that's nice to know. Dwayne, what are you doing here? Yes, well, there we go. That is indeed it. Very nice indeed. Look at that. 32 renown. I am extremely pleased with that. Um, how's my Chaos Charioteer? Oh, it died. Really? Uh, well, uh, I guess no Doom Bulls died. So, Oh, actually, one of them did. Oh, pff. okay. I'm actually... <laughs> I'm actually kind of annoyed about that. Okay, well, the uh, the enemy still has 19 remaining. I'm not a big fan of actually going into a battle here, but because the auto-resolve is so terrible in Warband, we're going to have to do it. All right, so there you go. There's the end of that one, and we basically got pretty much nothing for that because obviously we're not. And they basically... What? They managed to escape? Both of them managed to escape? Oh, well, that's annoying, isn't it? Uh, I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to capture them at least. Oh well. Never mind. That's just how it goes. Okay, so we got these guys. I don't know whether I should really take those, but we're basically going to be capturing everything anyway. I, as far as I'm aware, someone said that I can do control, control A, isn't it? Or control A something or other to be able to uh, capture every single prisoner. The problem with that is that whenever I use those kinds of commands in a variety of different mods, I always end up crashing. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's because I'm using the wrong keybind, because sometimes if you use the wrong keybind, that actually does um, cause you to crash, which is definitely something that I would prefer to avoid at this point. Because us actually being able to achieve victory there was a pretty miraculous feat as it is. Anyway, there we go. We were able to achieve victory, surprisingly enough. I have 24% HP. Uh I'm not really looking forward to that, to be honest. I'm really not looking forward to potentially restoring myself and then going in. Hmm. Not sure. They have sep... Wait a minute. Okay. They only have seven. <laughs> How do they only have seven? I guess we were fighting the garrison as well as the, um, as, as well as the lords on on the on the fields of battle. I had no idea that that was actually the case. I thought we were just fighting the two vassals, uh, but apparently not. So we just literally murdered every single person in the uh, in the keep here. Oh no, actually, also they did um, they did sally out. So maybe that was also a thing that was happening at the same time. That's hilarious. Okay, well, there, there we go. I guess we're done then, aren't we? I guess we are done. That's very nice indeed. Nice and easy little uh, little castle for us right there. Thankfully, these guys are not really uh, not really knowing what to do with my dodge. And there we have it. We were able to very easily win. And I'm actually... I'm not going to ask for the castle. Not going to ask for the castle. It's a bit... I don't know. It's not far away because obviously it's very, very, you know, it's in it's in literal throwing distance of, um, well, not throwing distance, but, you know, it's pretty close by to our previous fief. But the main problem is I don't really want to do any, uh, any of the sort of management with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> if I can help it. Basically, it would be better if the person that owns Altdorf to actually have this. And uh, who knows, maybe we're going to be able to take Marienborg as well at some point in the future. I mean, that would be kind of nice. Um, but as you can see, um, yeah, Skaven yeah, are basically overtaking pretty much every single faction in this area. And we're doing a fantastic job at it, uh, you know, suffice it to say. And uh, oh, the Tomb Kings are just completely destroying the goblins as well. 
So it looks as though we are going to see another faction elimination maybe sometime soon. The Orcs are not actually at war against us right now, so we don't need to worry about them. And obviously the Dwarves, they are very much, they're basically done. Because we are at war against the Vampires here, and the Vampires were at war against the Dwarves. And as you can see, the Vampires have completely and utterly destroyed the Dwarves so drastically that they have only one town. And that's it. They just have one town, which is actually incredible for us. So I'm really, really pleased about that, actually. Um, otherwise, I'm actually going to go over to um, this town here because I want to make sure maybe we can get... I, I kind of want to get a potion or two. Oh, Cyrus is here. Oh, that's actually... Wait a minute. This is actually really, really good. How much? 80,000. I do have enough, but not on me. Not on me right now. Oh, that is so sad. Okay, well, um, is there anything else that I actually want to buy here from this guy? I don't think so, right? No, his items are actually kind of terrible in comparison to him, uh, you know, giving me ward save and everything. Okay, so there is a farmer to do the thing here. So, yeah, we're obviously going to be doing that because that is quite, well, basically, in my opinion, that is the best quest to take if you want to just earn some really really quick renown and i obviously do so uh let me see should buy some of this there we go and no potions unfortunate but we are going to be able to do this 37 nurgle zealots really really easy for us to deal with these guys uh, i should basically be able to just tell my forces to charge in here actually should i just tell them to hold position instead maybe holding position would be a little bit better we can make it so that our, our gunners will just fire as much as they can, but uh, it doesn't seem like that's really going to make any difference, as you can see. It doesn't seem to be doing too much. You know, I kind of think that maybe sometimes it would be better for me to not go for Poisoned Wind Globadiers as well, because the Globadiers, while they do have some significant AoE damage, when do they actually use it effectively? That's the question. I've, I've actually used them a number of times in the past and been extremely pleased with them. Uh, at least in the previous version. But um, they, they seem very underwhelming this time around. I don't know whether they've been changed or anything like that. But from what I can tell, they don't seem to be particularly dangerous. Which is kind of strange. Oh, I didn't actually get Renown this time. Okay, that's a bit weird. All right. <laughs> okay sure fine 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 all right if i don't get any renown then i guess that's i guess that's my bad luck isn't it anyway i'm kind of hoping that maybe what we can do is go into the tavern here maybe there's going to be a potion seller no there is a ransom broker i don't think i have any people do i oh i do actually have oh look at that 3500 that's that's a significant amount and we also have a potion seller here which is actually really good all right nice and, uh, oh yeah, I need to speak to my Chamberlain. So that's what we're going to do. Where is my Chamberlain? I love the fact, by the way, that they have actually made the Chamberlain and the various other NPCs that you can hire into your race-specific um, race uh, things, basically. So they're adhering to, to the racial requirements, which I think is actually hilariously good. I think that is so amazing because what is more immersion breaking than being a Skaven or being, I don't know, an orc or whatever, and then having a Chamberlain that's a human, you know, that just doesn't, that just doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to withdraw because obviously we have 78,000 in here. So I'm going to withdraw uh, 10,000. How much do I actually have on me right now? I don't even know how much I have on me. So I'll just take 40,000 out and let's have a look. I have 70,000. I need 80,000. Okay, that's hilarious. <laughs> I thought I had a lot more, actually. Never mind. I thought I actually had a lot more than this. Okay, let's withdraw another another 20,000. And we've still got 18,000. Ooh, a little bit... Uh, not, a, not a big fan, actually. Not a big fan of leaving myself with such little cash. But I guess we can just be uh, securing the knowledge that we're going to be making 2,000 every single week most of the time. Uh, it seems like we have Duke Mordred of Musillon of the Deserters. In other words, they are Bretonian. 
and they are still in the game by the looks of things, which I am not a big fan of. Is he still here? Yes, he is. There we go. I will purchase this. And now we have Greater Ward Save. Oh yeah, you know what that means. That means things are going to be going so much better for me. As you can see, we have a plus four ward save now. And that means that, well, it's going to be much harder to hit me. That's for sure. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.